Expendable 4's reviews are out already. The movie was released in mainland China a week earlier than the other markets. This is because the previous films in the series have achieved very good box office in China. The Expendables series was released in China in 2010. The box office for the first three films was 260 million yuan for the first Expendables, which is about 30 million USD. The second Expendables made 331 million yuan, 45 million USD. And the third Expendables made 452 million yuan, that's about 61 million USD. The Expendables 4 scored 5.2 on Doban, a Chinese social network site, and has been reviewed by more than 7,000 people. The negative reviews are mainly reflected in the following. The movie has lost the charm of the previous movies, the movie's full of gimmicks, and has a weak plot. Let's take a look at some of the reviews that have come in. The Expendables 4, which was released in September 15th, has become the worst film in the series. There is indeed a big gap in the plot and fighting scenes when compared with the previous Expendable movies. The once tough guy actors have aged, and in this final chapter, they are no longer able to deliver as exciting fight scenes as before. In order to avoid fighting himself, Stallone basically is a glorified cameo in the movie, and most of the time was Jason Statham's solo show. Another user wrote, It has been nine years since the last Expendables 3. Although most of the main creative lineup is still there, the starring lineup is somewhat disappointing. 55-year-old Jason Statham is the main character, while the younger Lundgren, Randy Kudrow, and Tony Jaa took on the responsibility of shooting most of the action scenes. Another user wrote, Although the team of The Expendables 4 brought together many veteran action stars this time, the performances could not save this poor script. Stallone's performance is little more than a cameo, and Statham's character lacks depth and complexity. What was once a series full of passion and excitement has now become stale and hastily ended just to make money. It's supposed to be the final chapter, but it failed to leave any deep impression on the audience. Another user wrote, The only thing worth mentioning about Expendables 4 this time is that Equal from the Raid series was invited to play the villain. The action scene where Jason and Equal fight can basically be considered the best in the entire film. Another user wrote, it's such a joy to watch, watching a group of old tough guys fighting so hard, fighting with real guns and ammunition on the big screen, and the explosion scenes overflowing with excitement on the screen. It's a satisfying feeling from beginning to end. Another user wrote, There are only four members of the old team left in, in Expendables 4. The new members that join are often just superficial existences. Not only do they not have any character arcs, they also don't have any really memorable moments. Another user wrote, Expendables 4 is overall a commercial and brainless movie. Jason Statham is still the Jason Statham we are familiar with and the charm of the action scenes is still dazzling and clean. It is full of ruthlessness and the special effects of the final act are even more stunning and shocking. I think most of the reviews are saying the same thing that is Jason Statham's movie and the rest of the cast are just nothing more than glorified cameos. Will the American reviewers be saying the same? We'll have to see. Are you excited to watch the movie? Let me know in the comments.